Well, it's been a while since I made a video, and we're going to go down a different path here a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to start making a few how-tos. Um, lately, I've been getting into oh, little different things. I really can't work on cars anymore, but I have uh, started playing with old garden tractors and stuff. And there's quite a few guys on YouTube that show repairs and all so I'm gonna start out we're going to uh, I'm gonna do something a little bit different and uh, well we're gonna start out on this little jewel this is a Murray GT garden tractor that I got off Craigslist in the free file um, when I picked it up from the guy's yard, his father came out and he said, Well, I'll tell you what's wrong with that tractor there. Um, if my son would throw away his toolbox, he said, it'd be just fine. Yeah, I have to agree with the guy. Um, all kinds of bolts missing, wrong parts, wiring cut to pieces, uh, things just rigged into place. An example, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not. But the steering has been kind of butchered there, so you could do something, and he put it together by drilling a hole. That's going to get re-welded. Uh, the deck works, but it needs new bearings. It's a 12.5 12, 12 horse Briggs. And the old man says it runs wonderful. Yes, it does run wonderful. The motor is perfect. The kid took the whole top of the mower off to replace the drive belt and then he put the wrong drive belt on supposedly the transmission good I know it backs up but it slips so bad I can't go forward but this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about this is the way the kid put it back together I don't know if you can see that or not but the whole dashboard just floats around wrong bolts it's just unbelievable unbelievable um, like I say the wiring's been butchered I can't find the stator wire out of the engine to recharge the battery uh, they took the ignition switch out put a toggle switch and a button on that's going to get replaced um, I put a new battery in it to make sure it runs it's a six speed shift on a go seems to work I don't know I'm going to be crawling underneath there to uh, get it going. I'm also going to show you something that I see asked a lot on YouTube and that's how do you level a Murray deck. I see it asked all the time and I never see it answered. I will show you how to level a Murray deck on this series and it's the same for that series and it's the same for that series. Um, yeah, I got three Murrays. That one there is my favorite, but that one needs a transmission. It's a 14 horse twin cylinder Briggs, six speed. It's a little hoss. I picked that up out of a field. Been sitting for about 15 years. Brought it home, threw a battery in it. Popped right into life. I put a couple of tires on it, then I found out the transmission's no good. Um, I might even pop it apart and try to fix that. That little one there I bought from my son. That is a fantastic little mower. The deck was beat to heck on it. Uh, it was a 40 inch, now it's a 38. Uh, I had a hard time finding a 40 inch deck, so I went with a 38. Slaps right on, no problems. So just a little how to there. You know, if you got a 40, you can go 42 or a 38, they all fit right on, no problems. Um, this one here is a 40, as you can probably see. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to spend a little time with it. But fortunately, little things like the seat's in good shape. The body's in pretty good shape. So, we'll see what happens. So, stay tuned. I'll show you how to remove and replace the deck and how to replace the drive belt underneath. Uh, just little things. You know, every week or so I'll be posting another video. So, stay
stay tuned and we'll see what happens um, unfortunately all I got is a flip phone to or a flip camera to do this with I'm just a poor boy but don't give me any sympathy um, you know I think I'm gonna put some different tires in the back of this one too I'm not too crazy about those uh, but it's pretty funny and for free hey how can you go wrong right all right I'm out of here I uh, hope you enjoy this series and I'll see you in a couple days bye bye